Listening fill in the blanks. Let's start. The most famous of all Indian flatbreads is the roti. It is the namesake under which all Indian flatbreads are often classified by the world. This simple side dish often served as an accompaniment to meats, curries, vegetable dishes, gravies, etc. is in fact, the base on which Indian cuisine rests. If you have read any of our other articles here at Rodomatic, you will be familiar with the various types of roti and how they are made. But that begs the question, what is the history of roti? How did we start making this whole wheat flatbread that is warm, light, nutty, and delicious? Where did the original idea stem from, and how is roti so closely interwoven in our cuisine and our culture? Ever seen a road signal with an inverted triangle and wondered what it meant? Ever felt confused about what hand signal it was that the one who drove the vehicle in front of you was trying to indicate? Well, these are the kind of situations you should never come across when you are on the road. Here are a few points that you should try to check off your list before you start your journey. So, you're curious about TWS earbuds, and you've come to the right place. TWS stands for True Wireless Stereo, which means these earbuds are designed to provide a seamless and wire-free listening experience. Unlike traditional wired earbuds, TWS earbuds don't have any physical connections between the earpieces or the device they connect to. When it comes to TWS earbuds, there are a few key features that make them unique. First, they use Bluetooth connection to connect to your device, so you can easily pair them with your phone, tablet, or laptop. Plus, since each earbud has a stable connection, you can enjoy true stereo sound without wires getting in the way. Two key technological developments in the late 1800s played a vital role in the evolution of television, the cathode ray tube and the scanning disc. The cathode ray tube, invented by German physicist Carl Ferdinand Braun in 1897, was the forerunner of the TV picture tube. It had a fluorescent screen that emitted a visible light, in the form of images, when struck by a beam of electrons. The scanning disc, invented by German inventor Paul Nipkow, was a large, flat metal disc that could be used as a rotating camera. It served as the foundation for experiments on the transmission of visual images for several decades. Diwali, or Dipawali, is India's biggest and most important holiday of the year. The festival gets its name from the row, Avali, of clay lamps, Deepa, that Indians light outside their homes to symbolize the inner light that protects from spiritual darkness. This festival is as important to Hindus as the Christmas holiday is to Christians. Over the centuries, Diwali has become a national festival that's also enjoyed by non-Hindu communities. For instance, in Jainism, Diwali marks the nirvana, or spiritual awakening, of Lord Mahavira on October 15, 527 BC. In Sikhism, it honors the day that Guru Hargobind Ji, the sixth Sikh guru, was freed from imprisonment. Buddhists in India celebrate Diwali as well. A person who loves reading books can never feel lonely or bored as books are always there for his rescue. These can easily be carried on the go and can be read just anywhere. Books do not only help kill boredom and avoid feeling of loneliness, but also render knowledge. A person who reads different types of books and indulges in reading regularly is well-learned and worldly-wise. He can handle various situations better compared to those who do not indulge in reading. Every day we talk with people. But have you ever wondered how two people with completely separate minds manage to understand each other? To have a successful conversation, you must understand the language that the other person is using and produce language that your conversational partner can understand, otherwise communicating can become difficult. One thing that human speakers do to make sure that the other person understands them is to copy the language that their conversational partners use, such as their word choices. 
This is called alignment, and it increases the likelihood of two people having a successful conversation or doing well on a shared task. Scientific experiments have shown that alignment is an important feature of human communication that occurs in multiple situations. In this article, we explain three different types of alignment that speakers use and describe how language scientists study alignment. This growing complexity makes it more difficult than ever, and more imperative than ever, for scholars to probe how technological advancements are altering life around the world in both positive and negative ways, and what social, political, and legal tools are needed to help shape the development and design of technology in beneficial directions. This can seem like an impossible task in light of the rapid pace of technological change and the sense that its continued advancement is inevitable. But many countries around the world are only just beginning to take significant steps toward regulating computer technologies and are still in the process of radically rethinking the rules governing global data flows and exchange of technology across borders. Have a plan for emergencies. Make sure one has a plan for responding to fires in the workplace. Include information on how to evacuate the building, where to go if injured, and what to do if they encounter fire while on their way out. Make sure the facilities are up to code. Ensure the buildings meet all applicable safety standards, including those related to fire prevention. For instance, fire extinguishers are to be installed in all rooms, and they should be accessible to all employees in the event of a fire. This will help reduce the chance of a significant blaze happening in the facilities. Keep flammable materials, such as cigarettes and candles, away from ignition sources. Every second, about $850 million changes hands in the foreign exchange, Forex or FX, market, making it the world's largest financial marketplace, with daily trading volume reaching $7.50 trillion.1 while dealing in this massive market was once the exclusive domain of banks and financial institutions. Online trading platforms have opened the door for individual investors to try their hand at currency trading.